Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Fort's Map Making Contest Part 4. Rather, should I say the fourth installment of the official Fort's Map Making Contest, where today we're going to be playing around with the new map making features. That is to say, there is now a variable water table. There is some cool new toys available in the map maker, and, well, some of the best map makers in this community have put them all together, and today we're going to be putting them to the test. We're going to be judging them harshly, or perhaps not so harshly. We shall, we shall see. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and join in on the developers comms here so we can say hello and get everything started as i want to say shout out to jr spike 23 coming in and rejoining the incursion howdy to you too i know i know the big pop-up on screen isn't here today that's because we're doing the tournament and we are focusing on the content but i want to say thank you so much jr spike 23 and i look forward to seeing you out there <clears throat> and on the discord because that's that's one of the benefits of it <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and join in on the on the voice call here and see how, and let's get the questions going for the developers directly, shall we? If anyone has questions for the developers in chat, go ahead and post them as we will be bantering back and forth with them. Hello there. The stream is live. Everything is going smoothly on our end over here. How are you guys doing today? Hey, how's it going, Curtis? Hello there. So it is very early in the morning for you guys, yes? I am now uh, located in Argentina, so it oh. is 5 p.m. where I am. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a bit Fine. more reasonable, I think. Yeah, it's just Jeff that gets stooged. <laughs> All right, so for this first map here, let's see. We're doing Delta Ray's map first, yes? Excellent. All right. Um, I'm noticing. So I didn't. I didn't think about this. Uh, I cannot select Delta Ray's map because it is not public, and we are in a public lobby. Ah, problem. Um, okay. I, you One know, moment. I didn't think about that. There we are. Yeah. Rome lurking in the shadows. Okay. Good morning. Well, oh. hello there. Jeff Van like Dyke or Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's hilarious. You got like a 5.1 mic or something. I feel like you're all around me. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. As intended. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Not bad. Not bad. I have torn myself away from the Argentina versus Australia game to be oh. here. <laughs> yeah. Don't. No spoilers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Impossible to avoid them. If you hear big cheer coming from the streets where I am, oh, you yeah. know if someone <laughs> and who has scored. Okay, okay. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Yeah, really excited about this. It's going to be good. You got your coffee in hand? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, so indeed. What time is it for you over there right now? Uh, well, for me, it's 6 a.m. That sounds pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, it's harsh. I woke up an hour ago and just been caffeinating Oof. since. 
I, I, I mean, I remember thinking it sounds harsh, but now that I have to get, well, I actually now I'm in Argentina, it's not so bad, but when I was, the clocks changed, I was still in England, I had to get up at that time for our, our weekly call, so my sympathy diminished somewhat. <laughs> It is a Sunday, though. I'll give you that. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, are oh, we right. waiting for maps to be made public? Is that... I, the I think Romero is getting the maps made public rather than changes to a private lobby. As private lobby is okay. doable, but that is another layer of um, cat herding. Uh, both of which are acceptable options as long as a decision is made and we go forward. All right, yes, Romero is made Looks like public. there's a map made public now. Um, I may... Uh, Romero, I think, is going to have to join the lobby and suggest it. Otherwise, I won't be able to update the map from the Steam Workshop without restarting the game and the lobby. I see. All these protections. Kind of holler, hamstring us when it comes to the live event. Some sort of dry run. Could you know, good. I would think that it wouldn't be necessary. Like, we've done this so many times, just this one little change, and I didn't think it would have any consequence. Alas, here we are. There he is. Watch the whole thing come crashing down when he tries to suggest a map that my, my <laughs> client thinks is private. No, no. It looks like I'll need to update as well. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. So close. So uh, maybe we can talk about uh, the competitors, so to speak, as in the map makers. Yes, let's do that. So, um, so the list of uh, map creators is, and I get a little bit confused as to the names because some of them are known as other names in our in our community, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the classic sense, they, I see um... a few. A few uh, well-known ones, Flynn Shadow and Mandalorian Jedi, but the others, uh, maybe even Thonio, I recognize, I recognize. Thonio and such. Uh, Delta, yeah. Delta, Delta Array, I know has been yeah. hanging around under that moniker for a time as well. Uh, I'm, I'm just excited. I want to say this. Uh, when you guys sent me the uh, the list of maps to narrow down, I wanted to scream because all the maps were so good. I felt bad having to cut through and just say, "All right, we can mm. only showcase so many of these because they're it all was so good." It was actually difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's definitely going to be a few disappointed people out there, and and it was dis disappointing to have to uh, limit yes. it so severely. Um, but like, you know. We're also trying to keep things relatively brief in terms of the, you know, this presentation, you know, so it doesn't go on for hours and hours. I noticed the last time we did this, uh, it went for about four and a half hours, mm -hmm. um, which was intense. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. key. It's so, really it's keeping the pacing up and making it entertaining. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do here. What's yes. what we're trying to make this a little bit more bite size, you know. Um, I mean, we're still sitting here, you know, <laughs> spinning our wheels, um, waiting for the uh, the map suggestion. Um, but uh, we'll get there eventually, and once that gets rolling, then things should start rolling along smoother. Yeah, it's good to see a lot of people uh, taking advantage and coming through with the multi-level water uh, that we put in last mm. update uh, some some pretty creative stuff going on 
Oh yeah, seriously. The uh, the multi level water it changes so many things. It makes it feel so much better to play on a lot of these maps. Yeah, it was just it ended up being um, with one level. We sort of have four v four. It ends up feeling a bit like a sort of traffic jam on either side. It, yes, exactly. Um, with some poor soul. I mean, the, the poor souls in the middle always got the brunt of the damage, but with mm -hmm. the, the wall on the same plane, it's just exacerbated. Um, so, yeah, with the multi level, it's even out a lot more. Oh, yes. The, uh, where is it? I, is I would often mention that some of the maps, especially a couple of the vanilla ones, where it's just four boats in a row, in a line, it always yeah. felt like you had a designated role that you had to play based strictly on your spawn position. Yeah. Like if you were either the two center boats or the boats in the middle, uh, you had to play some kind of artillery style weapon, be it, you know, like tier three cannon or howitzer or like mass mortar. Whereas if you were the forward boat, you had to be kind of small. You had to be thick dense and bristling with anti-air and nothing else and the rear fort had to be extremely tall and loaded with well kinetics like cannons and uh and a healthy dose of anti-air as well yeah it kind of sort of it sort of devolved into that sort of that plane mm -hmm. in it uh yeah with the most level it's just opened it up a lot more which is which is fun and hopefully we're going to see some good action in this Yes, I, I am excited for exactly that. All right. There we go. Technical difficulties solved. I'm actually curious. Possibly. I believe it was actually the Steam's um, auto moderation saying you've made changes. We have to review them first. Oh, okay. Well, I will say this. I still cannot select uh, Delta Array's directly on my end so <clears throat> if um we're going to probably have to have you come in here and suggest the map every single time unless we recreate the lobby uh may i just say maybe. there are a lot of badges in this lobby right now oh yes oh <laughs> yes understatement uh, so we have a question from chat how long did it take to make forts Ooh. <laughs> that old chestnut. Uh, that's funny because like, Tim started it in 2003. But uh, yeah, which is uh, hugely long ago. Cause, but it was his, uh, you know, pet project, side project. Mm -hmm. um, but I, you know, I suppose there was, he was doing it casually. And then when Blamo got involved, it started getting worked on in anger, so to speak. Uh, so, well, grumpy, let's say, for a few years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, that was 2008 I started. I'd say yeah. in anger about 2013. Yes. And then, by the time you came on board, Jeff, at the end of 2015, we were in a, in a rage, in a flying rage. Yes. <laughs> uh, and it sort of picked up pace from there. But yeah, when you say like 2003, that's almost 20 years since Tim first started it. Yeah. It's it just a... Looking at the same game for 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Good job wow. That is... You know, I've heard I've heard that a few times, and it's still, it still shocks me a little bit every time I hear it. It's like it's... It's, it's as someone who's worked in development, like I'm just trying to imagine having a project go that long just on the back of my mind for so very long but it looks like we are good to go let's start to show off this first map here by delta ray as we have delta rays 2v2 And we're off. I like the, the going with the uh, uh, sort of like sailboat aesthetic, I must admit. Oh, yes. So there's a neat feature on this map that is unique to this map specifically. It's got one of these use map settings kind of deals going on. 
where it isn't just two rather neat looking boats out in the out in the waters to cannon each other into oblivion but if you look very carefully the boats are actually moving if we sit here on the screen and just watch it we can see them slowly gradually sliding toward the center and it's the same thing on the other side as well very slowly drawing closer this does not and closer to each other well <laughs> Well, if you were looking for close-range weapons, mm. I can't think of a better time. And but, we got some sort of dual layers of water going on, too. Yes, which is an interesting, interesting aesthetic choice here. I'm not certain how that works out mechanically, uh, but things are... Is it me, or is the middle here. water kind of bowing a bit? You know, that's a good question, and I think I think that question may be answered here in a little bit, as we have both both teams heading closer and closer in. Interestingly enough, uh, both players, both teams are going for the heavier weapons, it would seem. We have cannons from both rear forts, whereas both forward forts are kind of focusing entirely on economic expansion you know i was testing this map out you can expand massively on this map or at least Bridge, much more yeah. than i expected so as we see these players are adding additional extensions into the lower bits of their forts of their boats just to add additional propellers so they may move even more quickly toward the middle which is getting quite distinctly um bowy as you put it yeah. <laughs> I mean, is it meant to be... Is it, I mean, I assume with the storm, maybe it's like a vortex of some sort? Or, I mean, conceptually? And you know? that's... That is exactly what it is. Here, the yeah, forts right. are being drawn toward the center to a giant whirlpool. Yeah. That's sucking them in. And uh, they have a limited time, as you see. It's getting... Closer and closer mm. to the event horizon. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, the these maps are only gonna or battles on this map are only ever gonna go so long, aren't they? I mean, I can only assume uh, all hell breaks loose when you get into that vortex. <laughs> oh, that's a good way to put it. So you remember yeah. <laughs> how flying forts in zero gravity? Do you, how, do you remember mm. how we used to build the old engines? Mm. Mm hmm. Using the like firing cannons recoil force from cannons, <laughs> yes. We used to hover around by flying straight, by mm -hmm. literally launching kinetic projectiles so many times that the recoil would keep us up. Uh, there's a little bit of that going on here. Um, yep. If you want to stay out of the center, you'd best do your best to push against that route, to push against the force drawing you in. Yeah, right. I, I, I was interested to see how this one would play out, I think, out of all of them. Mm. With this uh, yeah, inbuilt time limit. Uh, yeah. See, once they get it mm -hmm. up into each other's faces, if it lasts that long, hopefully. <laughs> um, you know, broadsides point blank. Should be interesting. Yeah, so and who are our players? Who's who's actually playing? We've got some. So on team three. one, we have Alex and Eaton, facing off against the players on team two, Noah and Kronkinator. Nice. So team Bunch of very uh, talented forts players and always supportive of forts and the forts community. Yes, quite literally, some of the best forts players on the field available are here showing off these matches awesome as that plethora of medals suggested <laughs> like yes. the generals <laughs> gathering in their masses so true so an interesting note from the uh, aesthetic design choice of the multiple water levels we can see the difference where the water started to where it is now all yeah. of these players are starting are really starting to get affected by the by the vortex here they're already underneath the starting water table and they're starting to um ooh, a direct hit 
That's going to leave the Team 1 rear base's weapons damaged and vulnerable to a follow-up cannon shot. Good smoking away at that gun. Oh yes, that's uh, terrifying to think about. This is this is why you got to put doors on your weapons so you don't you don't have things get slaughtered. A question from chat: Can you build backwards indefinitely? No, uh, there is still a build zone, but that build zone follows and is uh, censored around your core. So as you move forward, there is a an invisible barrier which you cannot cross to either side, which prevents you. Ah, as you can see here, the shotgun knocking back the forward player as the 20 mil as well. That will keep them a bit away from the from the vortex, which is getting quite dangerously close. Oh, two ships at oh. once. Okay. That is a oh, lot of back. damage. Oh. <laughs> Our Boston vortex is... Did. The vortex is becoming uh, more apparent. Yes, that is... Uh, Davy Jones lockers down there, and the vortex is trying to reach it. <laughs> yeah. that guns. Need to clear that AA. So one thing I noticed while testing this map, um, most of these forts, including this one, uh, not really designed for oblique forces, diagonal forces upon them. Uh, and these forts, they're really starting to lean. And as they get mm. deeper and deeper into the vortex, or perhaps as the vortex comes for them, uh, mm. the forces on their... The, the structural forces on the fort will change angles, and that very, very much so messes up any of the designs that these players may have. Because, you know, most players expect to have to deal with gravity and the vertical stresses. Oh, look at that guy go. Oh, yeah, he's getting pushed way back here. A little bit of colliding. One fort oh. pushing back the other. <laughs> But for those wondering, I'm going Point to... This is great. <laughs> yes. I'm going to mention this now. No, no, no. The uh, the forts do not physically clash and crash into each other and break each other. Uh, they can push each other backward, but there's no friendly collision damage, as it were. Um, one thing I will say, uh, like, it's cool to hear the wind sound to give the mm. sense of the storm, but it is very loud in relation to all the other sounds it's fine but yeah still cool to have a go at uh changing the uh audio vibe that's uh, something i always like to hear yes yeah, it's good i like, I like the, the atmospherics and this one is really yes mm. really impressive um makes me think of like you know those clips of the fairing movies where they're shouting at the top of the voices as a, a squall is coming in mm. Ooh, it yeah, looks exactly. like the vortex is in full is fully enraged having reached the bottom of the world <laughs> both players oh, forts good propulsion oh yeah they do I remember that they I remember they had uh, when we were doing the the old school flying forts the 20 mils had too much propulsion and they oh. ooh. Can I be rescued? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, he's... Team 2 with a uh, coordinated volley yeah, of fire goes. deals massive damage, shredding all the weapons on Team 1's forwardmost fort. As the deck guns fly across. It is worth noting, all forts are now submerged relative to the starting position of the water as... Oh! A clean snipe! Yeah. Team one loses yeah, a player. Oh, just a kick in the teeth as it goes down there from team two. Downed Davy Jones locker, there you go. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, I really like the way the water gets darker in this. Yeah, I think they've exacerbated it on this map, actually. Yeah, because uh, normally on the, uh, on the maps, the water doesn't actually obscure anything. It's just nice solid single color all the way down but this actually gets darker and obscures everything as it goes down which is just 
extremely aesthetically pleasing. And a little bit creepy. Yeah. In all the right ways. <laughs> there is actually a subtle fade on the uh, on the original maps, but this one really accentuates it, and I think it's it is nice watching it sort of disappear into the darkness. Yes. Yes, I I have to agree completely. The vortex is getting bigger and bigger. Mm. Yeah, I played this out myself during testing, but uh, I just basically waited to see what the boats would do. Uh, never played it out long enough to see how wide the vortex would get. Mm -hmm. One thing worth noting, uh, notice both players here on the right-hand side. They're building these extensions into the water in an attempt to oh, yeah. rotate their forts upward. Because, as I was saying, the diagonal forces are something that most of these players are not accustomed to dealing with. Obviously, these players are familiar enough with the mechanics. They know how to deal with this kind of thing. But they're struggling. They're using metal rather than wood. It's inefficient for them just to try to keep their forts intact, and they're close to tearing themselves asunder. Look at all the blinking on these struts. Ooh, we have some self-destruction. Green rain. Return to Sanders. Yeah. It's, uh... Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, that's not... Oh, that's, yikes. That's gonna hurt. And oh, there it is. Shot. Why didn't the kiss her? Very mm -hmm. well played. As these forts are just almost finished getting sucked into the vortex here. They don't even have to self-destruct. Oh, no, nope, there they go. <laughs> well, that, that is, that was a good map here. That was entertaining. And there we have yeah. Delta Ray's submission into this match. No one got sucked down the hole. Just barely, though. As we saw in that final volley for Team 2, they actually had some self-destruction. They were so close to tearing themselves asunder that when they fired their weapons, they actually destroyed some of their internal struts. And as you saw at the end, they were spiraling just from the uh, internal stresses tearing them apart. It was very, very close. Shall we quickly go through and do our ratings on that yes yes we will at least and i will prepare yeah and prepare for the next one at the same time yeah sounds good and these are yeah i see i am totally not biased yeah we can see each other uh editing and p putting all our judgments in at the same time. <sighs> I can't seem to actually make changes in there. <laughs> oh, you might need to be... Uh, let's... Let me just... Uh, oh, Why does it do? Weird. Oh yeah, it says view only. Yeah. yeah, I've shared it with you, so it's just going through the process now. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. And um, who's going to be our next map? Uh, we go down the list. Flynn Shadow coming up next. Sure. That sounds good. Um, I, I will need Romero to suggest it for me.
There we go. Uh, this time I'm going to go ahead and add in observer tools. Uh, do we need a time limit? I don't think we need a time limit. Mm, I don't think so, because we also don't know what kind of scripting stuff some of these maps have, so... Mm -hmm. I'm noticing a good question from the chat in game text. Uh, I thought we were having more players or. More players. Uh, this is a, uh, yeah, I think. Having observers. Yes, I think we're just going to have to go without a full Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I would do. One moment trying to get Fraz in here. map i like uh mm. usage of the, the fragmented terrain mm. uh, variety of levels and uh, forts in this one as well i think we should just keep it a 2v2 Team Deathmatch, personally. Some of these maps have AI, some of them do not. Just another variable to be working out pre-game. Well, with co-op, everyone uh, can populate the bases. You can see how they were built. Yeah, true. I will leave that up to you guys. I think TDM is the easiest, but we do have experienced players here, and they were quite content to do co-op. If we do co-op, they will have access to all the bases together. Are we waiting for someone to make a decision here? What is the go? Are we waiting for prize or what? Uh, bit of both. <laughs> bit of both. <laughs> um, Hello. Oh, oh, there he is. There. I'm here. Oh, he sounds fine. <laughs> welcome in. I'm welcome fine. in. Yeah, I'm How not, are I'm They're sore. Very sore. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I'm here. I'm living in. With, got a heat patch on again because it was way too sore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds very painful. Uh, now, could someone bring me up to speed a little bit? Because my internet was passed. All right, so we've got the lobby open. Everyone is ready to go. Uh, all we need to do is get started here. Uh, when it comes to judging, we're just, you see the uh, grading rubric as it were? Yep. Have you requested access and can you edit it? That photo already let me. Oh, it does not. Where is our chat? Why is it not lit? Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. It's letting me do it. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that's it. We've got everything ready to go. Just uh, enjoy, watch, and let us know what you think at the end of it. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> okay. I'll behave. Ready up. Uh, forget i have to ready i'm always used to hosting the lobby i'm like i don't need to pay attention to that um so i th yeah i think let's do the um let's do co-op for so that we get to see uh, all of the bases uh because that's that's definitely part of what defines a good map is the starting bases 
Okay. Proof. All right. Co-op it is. Okay. Time's up. Let's do this. Cool. Kick it off when you're ready. Are we waiting on Blamo? I'm ready. Um, yep, there we go. All right. <laughs> now, if you don't know, in Cursus will have all the fancy designs. I'm just like, I push a button and it brings up the game. That's it. <laughs> He's a streamer, mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> mm -hmm. One moment. Did you break something? Nope. Ah, nice. What have we got here? Some very uh, interesting terrain design here. Yes. It does feel a little backwards to me because it, we have these giant puddles basically just rising above everything else. But it fits so well and it looks good. Yeah. It's interesting. So here we have the same two players on each side. It is Alex and Eaton on the left side, facing off against their opponents on the right side. It is Noah and Kronknader. Now this is a 4v4 map, and on this 4v4 map, we are playing co-op, which means each team controls, each player from each team controls every fort on their team. And it's to say- I've just realized that one of the hanging forts has a very interesting little thing you can do yes it has a bit of a it's a bit of a hybrid <laughs> fort despite being a standard fort that isn't in the water it does have access to water and it can build in the water as you see here it is building technologies and structures which are typically yeah. only available to water <laughs> it's a little bit like i think there's like uh in reality there's like generator tidal power generators isn't it it's a little bit like that isn't it yes <clears throat> Come Which to Scotland, you'll see plenty. Hmm. Scotland's known for having tidal power. Yeah, interesting. No. I do like that the map. Game. It doesn't feel like a mess. It feels like you know there was some thought went into it. I want the like, the design work yeah. of it, and it feels like this sort of underwater island area rising up and everything. And it it's like yeah, although the back two forts, I'm like. I feel sorry for them. They get stuck at a really bad time, didn't they? <laughs> They're not allowed to leave anymore. <laughs> they need some sort of lock system. Just to... I feel like I can zoom out too far, I think. Just being a little bit picky, but you know what I mean? I think you should maybe limit how far out it comes out a little bit. You got, you got, it's got some backwaters you can view. Unless, Almost if you uh, half that, maybe it was like yeah. If it just ended a at bit the... more, but that's just me being picky. <laughs> you know what I'm going to be picky about though? The fact that I can press spacebar and it jumps about them the right way. <laughs> oh yes, you know I didn't even check that these days. I'm so accustomed to just presetting all of the uh, right. all the different camera locations. I don't even check the default ones anymore. Yeah, I definitely check those. I honestly, I completely forgot. Pretty sure all the maps had them in, which I was happy to see, but a couple were a little bit tight, like they've been set and then ed edits have been made and never reset. Mm -hmm. This one's good. Yeah, like you can see basically all four of them on either side, whatever way you go. There's been a few maps I've played at times and you press it and it's like, where did my camera go? <laughs> you know, an interesting note about the players right now. There is an extensive amount of portals being used. Yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> All for return well, they to senders. Of, sure they is. do have a lot of energy. <laughs> they do have a lot of energy, yes. Uh, oh, wait, what, where are those missiles? What? Right there. Oh, we used some. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, um, <laughs> well then. Missiles, swarm I missiles, an excellent the, solution to the portal problem. Was the first map the the one that gets dragged in? Or am I yes. thinking of a different one? Yes. yes. Uh, 
Yeah, the vortex. I like that one. Mm. It was quite fun to watch. It's fun to watch. Yes, I there, really there's no, like that. The map. only way to keep your from going in is you have to use either well the big boy big cannons. Mm. Yeah, the big and cannons or the twenty if millimeters. You're wondering why I'm not talking as much is because I have bruised ribs, possibly cracked. I hope not cracked, but yeah. Yeah, that does how not. How did you? How did you get that, Fraz? What happened? Funny story. I got hugged. What? Yeah, that uh, would yeah, need um, an explanation. Um, so I hadn't been out in about a year and a half. So we ended up out last Friday. We we're at a club and hadn't seen one of my friends in like uh, about a year, year and a half. Because obviously pandemic and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so he hugged me and then like just below heart area, I Ooh. felt, oh, that was nice. I felt a like <laughs> crunch, like something twisted. Oh, right. And then I couldn't oh. breathe. I had to sit against the wall and someone had to do like... Um, even exercises with me and then it's just been sore all week and i'm like oh, please wow. don't be broken oh, i know what, i've broken ribs years ago uh, um so i kind of know what it feels like but this is just eh. wow. so i've been lack of sleep uh not able to move much oh. <laughs> so it's been fun but yeah it was by a hug from a that is bear. Uh... <laughs> oh did, did, did I think the portals are lined up a little bit wonky. Who just hugged you? I guess we shouldn't name them in chat. <laughs> no, it was a friend like I haven't a seen in a while. But... Yeah. Is your friend a bear? But he, he does go <laughs> yeah. to the gym a lot and everything. He's been going to the gym for quite some time. And then it was just like, I don't know if it was the way he hugged me or whatever, because I just felt like the bit below sort of left chest plate just go. And I was like, nah. And then I proceeded <laughs> wow. to not be able to breathe. Oh boy. That's Meanwhile, this battle is building up. Yeah, I was gonna say like I that's something I would never have expected to happen. Yeah, no, it's it's the same. Uh it's painful. Uh oh, nice. Oh that was interesting. Uh, that was very nice. Portals. Okay. Well it looks like team two is uh fairly substantially in the lead here. Just hammering team one. A return to sender Ooh. doing beautiful work. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Nice they are always so satisfying, the return to senders. Every time. <laughs> Every Would time. Would you like to take back what you just gave me? <laughs> you know? And there we I have it. I always enjoy the map making contest because the I Ideas that comes out from people, you're like, yes, give me more. Mm. Oh, oh that's a lot of AA. Oh. 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 oh that was just about to let hoping. it. Hoping beyond hope. Are we going to see a payway? He's got a, it is an upgraded one, so he's got two building at the same time. Oh. <laughs> Sneaking in underneath and taking out. I mean, it would be challenging uh, for these, uh, the players, um, trying to manage four forts, you know, yeah. <laughs> jumping mm -hmm. around. Ah, they're fine, they're fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, that's exactly why they're they using the return to senders. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. one fort. You don't need to focus so much on defenses and repairs. One is just like, I don't know, a husk. Yeah. <laughs> it got damaged and now it just lives there like ah yes i'm here a it's shell of its former glory oh oh, oh. <laughs> and oh. another flak gun entire anti-air taken out on well that one anyway hmm. just hearing all the the sirens on the reactors going indicating the commander beep, ability beep, active beep. Oh, what? How did that get? That huh? was a peach. That was a thread to needle moment. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The, uh, the underwater air defenses on the on team one four four. 
this just a little chilling. bit below the water level. Yeah, we've got scuba oh, yeah. gear. A fine. little too low. As Has being the used your commander yet? Uh, no, no, I don't believe they have. Those two gunners just sat there asking each other if the battle started yet. <laughs> they can't tell they're too deep underwater. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the flak is not reacting to the uh, anti uh, to the incoming missiles because it's too deep underwater. It it can't fire while underwater. Just a smidge under, too much, isn't it? It needs to be slightly above, if I mind right. Mm-hmm. It needs to slide slightly upward. Just so yeah. we can get a gasp of air. So we have cannons flying both sides. Oh, that was nearly a door snipe. <laughs> that was nearly a door snipe and a return to sender hit from the rear. As return to senders, as much as they do send the projectile back from once it came, uh, it does offset slightly. And in that specific setup, it would offset it downward which means if they send a cannon shell over to where the flak is above that set of cannons, it will come back down beneath the flak, which would send it into the rear of the existing cannons. Looks like Team 1 is going to be um, banking almost entirely on landing that Nighthawk. Yeah. I mean, they've got one, two, three, four, four of them. So far, I think. Along with, wait, what are they planning and doing with that? They've got a couple of uh, orbs laser ammo sat at the back of that. Yeah, but they've got decoy. Huh? Oh wait. Oh wait a minute. They've got decoys because, well, Team Two is launching missiles at them. Yeah, um, I've just I rarely see the decoys used. Well, in my games, anyway, people just decide to blow me up, so. Oh, 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 we go. oh, 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 too far away. Oh, no. Oh, oh darn. Massive damage. The nukes make it. Oh, what? Um, they want into that core. Yes. They don't, they're not asking for a pass. They're going to take it, whether you like it or not. They're trying Here to train the, the night gunners, I think. Oh, you oh. oh, you launched it. Oh. Uh, uh, the, uh, swing and yeah. a miss. Oh. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh so close. close. Here we go. Oh, there's, there's a good hit. It. That could. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? <laughs> what happened with that one that went through the portal? Did it no. get shot? It timed or? out. Ah oh, man! Oh, wait, what? Is that a thing? I didn't know that. Yeah, they have. I know that from my own game. We we learned that when trying to accelerate them. They have a fairly short timer. It's enough for to drop a projectile from like the top of the map or something. But if you start doing portal shenanigans, that runs out pretty quick. Hmm. That was oh, man, that was chaos. Play of the century. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that looked like it was going to go straight into the core, too. Yes. Yeah. That would have been such a good sort of, like, comeback mm -hmm. almost. Mm-hmm. And it goes to show you, like, even in this tiny wee bubble up here, it's like, oh, yeah, I've got portals, and uh, that means I'm protected. No, it's actually, it could just flip-flop. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh, -oh. uh, -oh. uh -oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would have been very bad for Team 1. Mm -hmm. um, cannon upon cannon upon cannon. Upon cannon. Oh, uh, oh just a haircut. clean shot. Just a little off the top. Wait, what? Uh, what to... Huh? I'm not sure. Yeah, the top right most four core took damage somehow. I think it had some um, internal stresses going on there. I love how this front four on uh, Team 1 has literally just been taking damage repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you know, the front four is always the team tank. No low proximity. I'm amazed that Team 2 uh, team two is able to, has gotten away with having exposed weapons on the front of their fort for so long, especially mm -hmm. that howitzer. 
Like they just now put a door on it, but I, I'm well, surprised. Not really got anything to re reply with, retaliate with, not reply. What am I on about? Oh yeah, uh, uh, you see, I think he's trying to tier three something. Mm. It's hurting. Uh, because it's hurting taking another nine percent damage on the core. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. Do, 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 do. Uh, that it? No more gunners? Yeah. Oh. oh, wait, and... did they hold on to them so they didn't fire? Uh, no. Uh. Ooh, swing and a miss. Question is, Trying. where Trying. are the missiles? Here they come. Uh-oh. Come on, do it. Oh, here oh, we go. Uh oh, that's no. bad for team. Oh, the oh, they tried. It wasn't enough. Did that? Wait, what? So he, he EMP'd it. The... He he EMP'd itself. He oh. he hit it with the EMP. Okay, I was like, wait, that connected. It didn't connect. He shot it with the it decoy, and then the EMP yes. directly. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. Oh, that it... that was. So much damage. I oh, so yes. Oh, that's doing so much work. Here we go. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that can uh, be That's oh, no. going to do it. Oh, As yeah. we have Three, the baby. double. Okay. Oh. Massive damage. The return to sender was active just for an instant. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, so much damage. Down. Good lord. Oh, wow. It's good. Twenty percent remaining is not going to take too much to take that down. Although Team Two has everything still. Yes. Team Two's biggest problem is they have too many weapons and not enough energy production. <laughs> too many oh. weapons and they can't fire oh. them all. There we and, go. And the Try. last fort standing. The that one, one once beginning. destroyed. Well, this last, uh, this last one is looking a bit interesting. It's it's had a bad it's had better days, that's for sure. Um, they are trying to do something. Mm -hmm. Some yes. of them, obviously the other weapons can't actually reach. Like can team like team two's player one. Part of the first I know. Floor. Oh, <laughs> little so bit of anti synergy there, there, but not really much else unless you went air. Well, they do have several options. My team... hmm? I think he's complaining about uh, shooting down oh. the oh. power <laughs> there. Oh. They know each other well enough. This is. Oh, they're trying to. Oh, that's gonna. Oh. Lovely, lovely. Are they gonna shoot it down? Yeah, yeah, they're gonna try. Or, well, they're gonna try, but. Oh. Oh. Ooh. oh. How, how didn't that affect his core? That's amazing. <laughs> that was close. I'm surprised that didn't snap right off. Oh, two cannon shells. They're get. They're just missing it by pixels at this point. I'm loving uh, the Fort 4 on Team 2. What a great creation. <laughs> oh, that's gonna... How oh, did that Lord. miss? It's just... Can yeah, you imagine is... being the pilot in that plane right now? But it's like, right, I'm ready to... Do oh, hello. Giant Howard's around right over the cockpit. It's like, uh, I think I need um, my uh, diazepam for the day. <laughs> Okay, so I think, yeah, yeah, team team two here is gearing up. They're getting more ammunition. They're setting up aeroplanes oh. for themselves. Oh, well, that's a heavy load then. And lovely plane coming out as well. Oh, oh, oh. ah! It looks that like a swing hit. and a miss. Oh, that is going to hit. If that's um, there is going to be some portal action. Oh no! Just, Very close. Okay. That would have been interesting. 
to just fire it straight back and actually that would have went quite badly through the top base. Yes. They really need to land some anti-portal weaponry. They've got swarm missiles. Uh, another Howie's coming up in the front. Uh, bye, missile. Fun. I'm surprised they aren't firing the swarm missiles, even if only to uh, take out some of those portals. Uh Aww. <laughs> All right, here come the missiles. They heard you. They're like, okay, I need to do it in curse of says. Um, and then miss most. No, they got it. They got it. That's oh. all they need. Oh, that's going. Well, oh. I say that's all they need, but. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Wait. Returned it. Oh, he shot it down. That was a good cannon. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, it... The laser went oh, off. The laser uh, triggered on the... What? Oh, that was interesting. B-Man! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was odd. So even if it goes through the portal, it will still activate... Okay. That's, that's not how that usually works. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we'll save the replay on this one. Whee! Oh. oh. Ooh. <laughs> that's taken a lot off the top. Oh. Hello. Two. Oh, oh nice massive shot. damage. Time for a sniper. No, the core is exposed. A literal sniper could just finish it off right now. There, go. there it is. <laughs> oh, it. <laughs> just Blasting skimmed it in one side out the other. That was good. That was good. Oh, there's desyncs in a replay. Well, there we have it. Yeah. That was good. That was good. It was good. Co-op was a good option. Yes, I'm so very glad we did co-op. And that... That's Unearthed Aquifires by Flynn Shadow. That was a good one. I like that. Test out all the uh, angles of attack. Okay. I would like to point out one of the map features that wasn't really obvious, but that uh, you might find interesting as a quality of life feature. And that's that Flynn Shadow coded the uh, boats such that if the land bases near them are destroyed, they will recenter themselves to make it easier to reclaim them. Yeah, that was good. Oh. Saw that while testing. Yes, I was, I was contemplating mentioning that. Um, we did actually see a good example of that on Team 1, when the, I believe it was the third, the second base was destroyed at the same time as the third base getting massively just cleaved in half. Uh, we did see the third base getting pushed forward toward the forwardmost position, <clears throat> so it could claim that forwardmost position. Okay. <clears throat> awesome. So let's get this um, next map. Actually, let's see if I can I do it. Um, lies. I need to pause again when we start up the next match. Oh, it's not pu publicly visible, so I can't suggest it. Uh, Fraz might be able to suggest it since he entered the lobby late. Uh, that's uh, actually good. One? Uh, lies. FCCM, or FMMC lies, yes. There you go. Oh, sweet. It's beautiful. The background on this one? Mm. Yes. Yes, please. This one is another multiple map start. Another... This is a 4v4, so we will be doing co-op again.
Interestingly enough, this one is tech. This one technically has mods, but uh, because it's got some aesthetic adjustments. Oh, is he ask is he asking in curses to join? Always tempting, always tempting. No, he would not. <laughs> <laughs> it 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 hurts me a little bit because I when I do these kind of casting roles i i like to keep it separated but mm. i i do actually enjoy is you know it turns out playing forts is fun especially with these caliber of players and that's like i was i was as for many of you know i've been on a dark tide streak and i've i had to just stop playing dark tide and play forts like i need this it's it's so good so i i i would I, I I do I would like to, but not more than I like to keep things stable and <laughs> on pace. So let's uh looks like we're good to go. Rolling old frases. Oh, oh. See th this is how much I've been in a different position in the lobby. <laughs> okay. I did it the first game. If you're wondering why the game isn't starting, it's probably you. It Mm, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just a general rule for life. <laughs> Why is it not? Oh, it's me. Yeah. Why? What did you break? Uh, as far as I'm aware, nothing. Just uh, double checking settings. Oh. We have someone timing out. He's got a message there in the in the uh, log. <clears throat> Clouds are aesthetic background only under the standing bases is solid ground. Yes. And only under the ships is water physics. I like uh, the use of the console to put this little thing in. However, I don't mm. like the 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 fact that it needs to be explained. I find this one to be difficult to read, personally. I, I I was I was conflicted with this one. Uh, obviously, the uh, lives put a lot of work into the creativity side of it, but from an aesthetic side, I'm not a great fan. I think it's really creative, um, and but I'm concerned from a gameplay point of view that it's hard to read what's what. You know what I mean? So what it what will projectiles collide with? What won't they? You know? I yeah. just love the look. Mm. It's like fort ships, but... You know what the middle should be, though? There should be a Thor hammer. <laughs> a Thor hammer. <laughs> okay. That's lightning, you know? Oh, I see. Makes sense. <laughs> this one did have uh, AI forts, however, and they were really interesting builds. Yes. Which I like watching those uh, destroy each other. In fact, I'm generally a fan of these these maps when they have uh, AI forts. It's, it's fun to watch them play out, destroy each other see the angles of attack etc it really gives sort of the the map a, a thorough uh going over as it were i just like watching the auto battle kind of set up yeah but here we have in the center a destructible terrain kind of set up just an obstacle which can be destroyed and must be destroyed in order for the players to uh directly encounter each other and he and looks like Team 2 is starting that off early. Now Why we, can I hear a heartbeat? I can hear yeah, heartbeat. That's, what I was, that's what I was noticing too. And the, also the storm sounds. The storm sounds are nice. Yes. The, the heartbeat is interesting. <laughs> interesting is a good word to say. it Because like I, I remember testing this out. I was like, all right, I'm sitting here. It's the middle of the night. I'm just yeah. watching the AI going. Why does it sound like I've just sat down after running a marathon? Oh, right. 
<laughs> I thought there was something going on. I'm sitting looking around the room. Like, uh, Echo's asleep on forward. the couch. What's uh. going on? But yeah, no, he's really he's flaked out. <laughs> I mean, some games use that as a as a sound to indicate your health level. Mm -hmm. You know, you add know? extra stress or anxiety to the to the environment or something. Yeah. Um, so it definitely will add. It'll either come across as annoying or a add to the intensity because it's like you know, which I think is the intention, mm -hmm. um, or he's just being creative. I'm sorry. I just love the theming of this map because it it looks like the the forts aren't even in water; they're just floating on top of the mm. clouds. Mm. And it's I like the aesthetic, uh, or at least the idea of the flying forts. So we have these forts in the sky that can bounce around, and here we have forts just on top of the clouds. And you can see that the gentle to bubble. Know, the cameras work as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the little things in life. Mm. Okay, so it looks like we we do while we do have two players per team, there are four forts per team, so they're APM. Their actions are being split among them. The central balloon obstruction has been destroyed, finally burnt all the way down. So now everything is open, and both You're teams. Waiting. Yeah, yes, that's that's what's happening. Both teams are sitting here waiting for the alpha strikes. Uh, both teams are fully capable of sending ridiculous amounts of firepower at each other right now. And I'm, I'm questioning why they aren't, other than um, Team 1 being about fully kitted with portals in a way that makes it difficult to attack them. Without you know having... what I'd like to ask the map maker? Why the heartbeat? That's mm -hmm. a good question. Well, I believe the map maker is currently oh. in chat observing, so they can they can reply in kind. To answer to your question, friends. Good, good. But well, you need to reply you as the post because I'm not <laughs> in your chat. <sighs> I'm not wanting to dance with my internet too much right now. Fair enough. And to finish off a client's video as well, and I'm like, yeah, this might take a while to upload because my internet's just. It's having a bad day. It looks like Team 2 is being I mean, a bad week. <laughs> very careful with oh. their cannons, doing the oh. best they can to not have the return descenders slap them. Uh, so far, they've got some damage done. Uh, team 1 is just sitting and waiting, biding their time. They're getting ammunition online as well as, as, so well the as their missiles. The See the bottom two forts on each base? Like, they're technically floating in water, right? Yes. So, like, oh, 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 Ooh, that was a nice one. A little so, over the top. Obviously, so these clouds around here on the bottom are basically water, so cannons can go through it and yes. so on and so forth. The clouds are purely aesthetic. Every cloud here is purely aesthetic. The only solid ground is basically massless, and, like, it's... And it's uh, directly underneath the fort, the standard vanilla fort. Like that cloud down there. Oh, oh that's what a smack that was. Ow. Devastating damage. <laughs> oh, another oh. one. Yeah, so what has happened here is Team 2 has picked up the Moonshine Commander so they can get EMP cannons, and they have sent EMP based cannons at the portals of Team 1. Oh, and EMP that's... cannons shut them down. Oh. Oh, that would have been a good sort of retaliating. Where did that, where did that random gunshot come from? What? <laughs> Wait, did you guys just falling from the sky? Did you guys notice the, uh, the intensity, the music intense swell there? Yeah, yes. heartbeat stopped for a bit, did it? It, I think I can't tell if the heartbeat stopped, but it added in. It at least added in violin, which is different from, different from the standard music. And it stopped very quickly. But I want to hear it again. That was that right, was nice. So basically, we need to shout at them and tell them to beat each other up more. Yes. 
Okay. Do more damage. Oh. Uh, oh, I hope that pilot had some life insurance. Oh. I, Ooh. Oh. Oh, uh, overshot oh. a little bit. Oh, man. Oh. oh yeah. After all that. Oh, <laughs> did you guys notice when they're heading, there's little lightning bits coming up? I, I uh, no, because the commander wasn't active, was it? When they shot the, the planes and then their bullets hit the ground behind the third one, there was like little lightning sparks. It uh, depends uh, on uh, what they're I'm hitting. That maybe the commander. And the, com the commander does cause crap. lightning. Uh, it's only ibuprofen, so not that much. <laughs> Right. When I broke my ribs like years ago, I did get like proper like Kokodomo and yeah. You be, you glad be I'm one. not on them. <laughs> I would be in work one day and they're like, you okay? I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here comes oh. death. Oh, that's oh, wow, a that beautiful vicious. hit. Well done. Ooh. Uh, Team one is I getting brutalized. <laughs> Oh, so many nukes. There goes one. There goes another. There goes a. Oh. Solid hit. Why can't I hear a laser? That is the sound effect of the energy dome crashing upon its allies. Which I didn't hey, realize had a laser sound effect. Oh. I knew uh, it had. Th that ship is living a charmed life. How is that still standing? Uh, practice. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh. God, so much damage. How much has that even got left now? 30%? Dang. Oh, Team 2 has not taken any reactor damage whatsoever. Yeah, no, Team 2 is dominating this match. Oh. It's Team 1. One core down. Yeah, team you know, one. It's really weird because it looks like it's just falling from the sky. <laughs> Good. That's doesn't. That's what makes it look so cool. Just dropping from the clouds. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really like. I very much so like the aesthetic. It's. I think it. Uh, out of pretty much all. Like this one was probably because it's like there's a lot more gone into it in terms of aesthetics. Mm-hmm. And when this came up, I was like, ooh. Hmm. Yeah, they've always put a lot of work in. So, kudos for that. Amazing amount of work. And I like the idea of it's floating on uh, clouds. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I, I feel like it, it would probably be better if they were all shipped rather than. Like one fort, just a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. It just no, looks just good, is my again. thing, and that's what makes me happy. Because that's is that that's one of the things about that we wanted to focus on in this particular competition. Uh, trying out all the new things, trying out the new water, trying to make it look cool, and that I think this map does pretty well. Mm. Well, it keeps water and completely sort of. It literally flips it and makes it in the sky. Mm hmm <laughs> And it fits. It works. It fits thematically. It fits mechanically. Like, it's... It's cool. You know, I think, see if this uh, map itself, see if the ground and everything looked like just normal ground and not like the sort of clouds and everything, it would look wrong and just wouldn't work, I don't think. It wouldn't have the same appeal. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of cannon shots. Dang. <laughs> yeah, this is that's the part of the game where that's the part of the game where um uh oh you don't survive that. Oh. 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 Wow. That was that close. Was luck. Oh my. Massive damage. Oh. That's a good hit. So close. Here comes another double shot, though. Oh, and another one, and another two. <laughs> how, is this, how is it still alive? Was that six shots? Yes. Oh, that's not firing quick enough. The shield. 
It wouldn't really matter. The uh, airplane is going underneath the shield anyways. And... Ha, what? Here comes another wave. Another volley. This core is like, this I should do, do not it. want to get... Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Good oh, no, the cannons of. Oh, there goes that one. Very apt weapon, smoke bomb for this level. Cannons are just. Oh. Oh, wow. I love how the moonshine cannons just go straight through the. Uh, the portals like team one so what happened here uh, it's just from the strategy side of things i know i know the strategy isn't the primary element of this of this contest here but the, from the strategy side of things team one was relying on portals to keep themselves alive so they can do whatever they wanted for an extended period of time team two just went cannons and moonshine oh and <laughs> just invalidated that strategy altogether mm-hmm <laughs> See if that had actually managed to hit one of those cannons, the whole chain reaction from four cannons going off. Would have uh, been lovely. Yes, I agree. It would have been beautiful. You want oh. explosions? You get explosion. Well, okay. Apparently, I speak and an explosion happens now. All right. And there's an, oh. there should be another Whee! Nighthawk available. It's coming towards them now. <laughs> there is. So Team 2 has multiple options to finish this off. It looks like Team 1 is trying to uh, 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 concede. Yes. We'll see yeah. what happens first. There it is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, just rubbing and the salt there in the wind we there. have it. Team 2 with a victory mm. on Stormy 4v4 four 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 by Lies. And it doesn't desync. Way. It's beautiful. Cannon, cannon's good. Uh, cannon's very good. Cannon's definitely. It's so my nice favorite. and pretty. It's so pretty. Did, it, <laughs> did anyone else think of like maybe a beanstalk when they saw this map? Huh? As in jack in. I didn't. Um, but. Should we be worried about you? <laughs> I didn't, but I, I get the reference now that you mention it. Oops. <laughs> what have you done? No, it's Noah saying our dome was going senile. Yes. <laughs> our friend is high as a beanstalk. Oh no. And what is the next one? In case you need me to suggest that if I have it or not. Uh, Mandalorian Jedi's. I have that one. Where is it? I do, in fact, if you need it. Yes, please. <laughs> there you go. I'm also going to click the ready button just in case. <laughs> <laughs> So this one is an interesting map. This is a map that we have seen the mechanics of a few times in the past. Uh, it's still interesting. Basically think of there, there being three teams. <laughs> uh -huh. Ha, now we're waiting on Alex. I like that off. description. Ha. I mean, it's... Uh, you... Some people will work that out. Some people probably won't until they see it. But I definitely approve. All right. We should be good to go. Oh, I want to say, because uh, Zoutzvuk is here. 
uh, for those who are looking to enjoy this fort's casting in the native German tongue. Uh, make sure to go check out Zaltzwerk's channel. He was currently live on Twitch. But for now, we're good to go. So let's do this. Let's do it. And we're off. Error loading texture or oh, no. There we go. It is time for Team Free to enter the battle. No, don't worry, it's not me and Curses. I might be. Maybe we push a button some hands. <laughs> well, welcome to this map, this volcano monstrosity made by Mandalorian Jedi. Also, I just want to point out the back two forts. Well, the back fort on each team is um an interesting contraption. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the <laughs> rear, I'm going to say, fort is not actually a fort so much as a derelict set of weaponry. Uh, the players and teams cannot interact with this at all. It is strictly decoration. So it is a three yeah. versus three map where there is right. a central, central obstacle which must be destroyed before the players can directly Is this not a four engage. before? No. This is oh, a 3D3. the back bit is not usable, isn't it? That's Just correct. Dead. It's hey, and team here three is come, the round. Here comes this map gimmick. For those who are familiar with the campaign, this may look familiar to you. As raining from the sky comes Whee! very destructive meteorites. Uh oh. Oh, oh, but yep. And there goes a core <laughs> oh. right out the gate. Unlucky. Re oh, very unlucky. Uh, oh, I'm um, looking forward to seeing this one in action. Mm -hmm. Is that mines in the water? Aesthetic yes. mines? Yes. Yes, yeah. they are. So team one has lost a player. Uh, <laughs> welcome to this map. Um, very dangerous volcano. Very, very dangerous volcano. Got to look out for that. Uh, it is worth noting that the... Volcano projectiles can be shot down. It is not as uh, it is not without counter. There are things you can do to defend yourself, uh, but obviously you have to know what to do before the map starts, or this can happen to you. And here we go again. I feel like I pushed a big red button. It's like he -he 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 -he, now you all <laughs> die before me. That's what it feels like. And then it's like. like you just see the gun fired. Everything is like no, we must stop it from happening. Oh, oh, team Ooh. one again getting hit by a lovely big rock. Both teams managing to survive this time, however. It looks like team one's going to be swapping their strategy around a little bit. We're going for tier threes. Standard Two tier luxury threes. having the, the extra boat. The middle one just seems to be a, basically AA ship. Yes. Which, honestly, great idea. Just yeah. Probably invest more into that given the context. Mm. <laughs> There's yeah, going to there's be... There's definitely a link between less AA and with Team 1 and Team 1 getting hit. Yes. Yes, absolutely. They've even got a little team two four three has even got a little portal hat on. Just to stop any kind of uh, kinetic issues from this guy. Stratospheric artillery strat strategies. And Looks oh, like oh, 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 oh. everyone survives. Ooh, very close. <laughs> Wait, the place port. The, does volcano volcanic rock go through portals? Uh, I would assume oh. so, but I do not oh. know the answer to that question. <laughs> That's a good question, Faz. <laughs> That's an off-air question. <laughs> yes, I, I genuinely do not know the answer to that question. Since they're from different DLCs, 
don't think much has been done in the way of checking that out. We have a question from chat. How many submissions did we get for this tournament? I believe that's a Romero question. I think it was... I think it was 11. 11, I think? I think? Yeah. Was the 12, 12, something like that. Was the 12 I'll call it 11 and a half. Someone had to withdraw at the last second because they didn't think they'd be able to finish. Okay. A lot of people were coming down sick in the middle. I've been at school. Oh, ooh. Oh, you're coming. Oh. 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 Yeah, what did that ever do? It was just set. Well, that's gone. <laughs> well, uh, Team One took a pretty heavy hit to their cannon platform. That's going to deal some damage. Some expensive. I do really like this bill. map. Yes. I really like the. Uh, yeah, reckon in the uh, fireballs in there. Kind of wish we'd kind of seen it with the players having that experience already, because now obviously with Team One having losing it, lost a ship or straight away, it's a little bit unfair it's like a player being sent off at the start of the match it's a 2v3 um, yeah but i'm surprised that uh oil rig in the middle to survive so long well the players are not trying to damage it i think they i think team two wants it there so they can have what is ostensibly a free anti-air battery that's safe and unprotected and doesn't need special protections whereas team right, two right similarly doesn't want direct confrontation because they're at a disadvantage. Or, sorry, Team 1 doesn't want direct confrontation. Yeah. They're certainly not ready for it. I'm presuming that the, the targeting for the uh, fireballs are basically on either side of it. Either side of the oil rig. Yes, it looks like we're actually... It looks like both players actually took some hits there from the volcanic meteors. Hmm. Oh no. <clears throat> Both players, both teams are scattershot, He's... and both teams are going for 20 oh. millimeter <laughs> tier threes. That's... I feel like they planned this. They have to have planned this. It's too much of a meme otherwise. Oh, that's a full defense on both sides. Uh, that was a tier. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, dear. Every rain. Hello. <laughs> Anybody want some rain? Oh. Uh, oh, my Lord. <laughs> That's awesome. It's, it's raining on all sides. Oh, no. <laughs> so you get some cannon shells. You got some volcanic rock. You've got a... I don't know. You're getting cursors pushing big buttons to make big lasers happen? Yes. Yes, absolutely. We have the did big red button. This map? Uh, I did not. I was not given a name. Uh, so as far as I'm aware, this is a map made by Mandalorian Jedi. Did he give it? A... Sure. I I did ask about names. I I believe not everyone had their names ready to go. Uh, if Mandalorian Jedi is here in chat, we could we could get that resolved right now. Well, naming stuff is hard. You see, the naming stuff is the hardest part of the creative process, mm. you know? It, it <laughs> really yeah, is. Yeah, it really is. Mm, mm -hmm, mm. <laughs> what should I name this 4,000th video? Mm, I don't know. I, even worse than that is like, what are you name this? Like when you, you know, you start a new account or something. What, what is your mm -hmm. permanent name going to be? Oh my goodness. Permanent? I don't think anyone else regrets their... Twitter name. Good lord. Uh, Here comes the rain. Fine. Although mine has changed over the years. <laughs> there is a swinging barrel in the middle there. The dangling. It Whee! dangles. 
You know what? I just I don't know why I I, I like sort of small things. I like the sort of M F M M C four just there. It's like this is what this map is. <laughs> uh oh my god! <laughs> 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 just I heard you like volcanic rock. Have some for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's so much. Well, they fired oh, so God, many Lord. kinetics up into the air that the the volcanic um, meteors and the two and the twenty mils are colliding. <laughs> but man, it's just so much. Oh my! Oh, oh no! Uh. Oh. This is huh? this is why we don't normally use. 20 millimeters for the tier threes oh, they just don't my. deal enough damage yeah they splash it all over the place but they never actually break anything like at all it's just a Fire bit of repair bill so it was a very awesome game about defense defense grid yeah defense grid and the ai would say one of the best tactics of uh, like when you're using cannons is more cannons Yes. If in doubt, build more cannons. Okay. Usually a good strategy. You know, I'm a big fan of that strategy. I'm a big fan of that strategy. We have more cannons being sent into is, disguise. Is Mandalorian somewhere in the chat? Can we ask him what what uh, the name of his map is? Uh, Mandalorian has not replied, at least in any of the, uh, at least not in my chats. Okay. Not on mine either, uh, unless he's in the Discord. Team One is suffering a lot of energy issues. Both teams are suffering energy issues. Team 2 is fixing that problem by building a giant spire of wind turbines. Uh, incoming! Oh my lord, it's Armageddon! To be fair, uh, uh, me and the other half thought we were having Armageddon going on uh, outside last night or night before because the sky was like there was like a gap in the sky and it was beating blood red and we're like okay we're done <laughs> so this is how it is well that's a bit too far out uh team two's last fall he's definitely gonna miss team one entirely yep the shots off the screen there on the side look at that the shots just scattering not breaking anything well i think we may need to intervene here as i'm mm. sure while the players may eventually lose patience and commit to exterminating each other um i'm entirely certain they will have more patience than we do and we'll happily make drag this on for an hour or two. Well, maybe an hour, just to see if if it can make the difference here. Although Team 1 is slowly getting grinded down. Uh, mostly by Oops. the volcano. Than anything, rather than anything else. Uh, some kind of Tier 3 issue happened here. I think in the middle of Tier 3 Or perhaps that one of the Tier 3s got lost after um, massive deformities in the base. In uh, older versions of Forge, there was a mechanic uh, wherein if you fired too many projectiles, the, uh, the the count would be exceeded and that that would end the match. I believe you discovered that early on in Cursus. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and with uh, 20 millimeters uh, pointing at this guy, uh, Literally breaking the game by flooding the air with so many projectiles that the game broke. <laughs> it's like no one ever expected the air to be so thick with cannon. So laden with lead. 
So they're just like, nope, something must be wrong. Game break now. Hmm. Curses, you can also, when you want to, you can look at that now too. I'll have to check that out later. As we have another volley of just... <laughs> Team 2 just keeps adding more bum, cannons at him all bum, here for bum, it. Bum, bum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in that front fort. Like, so there's basically, basically nine. nine. All I always suggest cannons. to them to um, transition to something beyond uh, random T3s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how about we just ask the volcano to do it for us? Yeah, they're because they're they're not seemingly actually playing here. Make yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, guys, make it explode, please. Yeah. yeah. Well make put. it go boom, boom. Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, we yeah, are. We are. <laughs> yeah. Well, Team One is having a bad day right now. Uh, they got actually pretty, I almost entirely. The uh, yeah. The uh, the volcano. They ran out of AA, or I think just sold it all in lieu of cannons, and then oh, the volcano the came. Of when you fire them cannons off. under the water, <laughs> that's sort of basic. Yes. Just like yes. Oh oh. Um. Oh well. The uh, twenty mil actually detonated something. You see that? Like you're ever so surprised. I am actually. It's really quite rare. Here comes the mountain. Uh, this could actually be pretty I devastating. I hope you brought your umbrella. One. It'd be really funny if it killed Team Two. Oh! Oh! So they do go through portals. Ooh! All right. So there we have it. There's and the interaction. Uh, <clears throat> there goes one fort. Okay. They're coming back down, like straight. I'm not went certain. The portal, then went straight up. Oh, I'm not certain they're affected. The little one that could. No, it is. It did? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's coming. Right down. Here it comes. Okay. Yep. Hello. Bloop. And here comes the other one. They're going to bounce back up. Wait. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Are you a with a volcanic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's funny. The meteor that. I wonder how long it's going to live. With with all those cannons yeah, going up there, wondering. surely it's not going to live indefinitely, but I heard I it detonate. That is. I mean... I heard it detonate. Either it timed out or got hit by a 20 mil. Mm. Well, here comes some more. When I tested this map, uh, just as a preview, oh, wow. one thing I found was that oh. if you wanted to end it quickly, just take out your opponent's AA. Just focus on their AA. Yeah. Uh, so Team 2 here almost completely removed their AA of their own volition. And um, nearly lost two forts for it. <laughs> 20 millimeter kills AA. Best strat. Oh, no. Unironically, that is a decent strat. But they're... Um, oh, there we go. Nice. Literally, all they had to do was direct fire their cannons once. And that was the end of it. <laughs> For some reason, YouTube has uh, my stream set as Starbound and not Fort. Oh no. And Curses, we must love YouTube how often it is broken. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a work in progress, just perpetually. Forever. And ever. Oh, jeez. Well, thank you Forever to everyone for being here when there's apparently a uh, the other Fort Fortnite uh, event sometime today. Oh. Uh, who? Uh, who? Yeah, who? What? Huh? Hmm? Hmm. On to the last map. 
by Thonio. Do you Thonio. need a suggestion? Do you need a suggestion? Yes. Yes, there yes, we, we do. Thank you. I will also ready up. <laughs> this one's so pretty. But is it good? Only mm. one way to find out. Here we I have. actually had to Google because I remembered seeing something and those colors are actually a real place. Oh. What do you mean those colors are a real place, huh? You'll see. What color? What? Hang on a second, guys. I believe we're ready. Get one set. Okay, well, let's go. Let it begin. Let's do this. And we're off. Oh, yes. Interesting. Got some waterfalls going on. Why does it look to me like the waterfall is going upwards instead of downwards? My eyes are not working. Because it is. Uh, it sort of is. It, uh, it's one of those frame rate. Delusions. Yeah, one of the optical illusions of the frame rate. All right, all right. So here we have on the left hand side, it is Eaton and. Sorry, it is Alex and Noah. Facing off against their opponents on the right-hand side, it's Kronkinator and Eaton. A little bit of a team swapper. On Indonesian Waterfall. 4v4. It's a yeah. much more, sort of a sim more simpler kind of, uh, like less detail, I suppose, in the terrain. More vanilla, less complicated. You can focus on mm. the uh, the forts and the stratagems rather than the map. Hammers in the wrong place. The camera focuses on the back two forts. Ah, oh. yeah. Not necessarily too bad a thing, but yeah. Um, it's 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 a nice it's a refreshing change to what we've been looking at mm -hmm. um, but it is obviously relying on the more or less the original uh, Indonesia background yes uh, which Blamo made um, and uh, you know what I mean so it's sort of it's it's like I said in the in the in comparison with the other maps, it feels different. But at the same time, we've we've seen this background before. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I really like this background, by the way. Just not putting anything against that, but just saying, uh, really, what we've got here is is multi-leveled water uh, and these waterfalls, which look a little interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. And conceptually, they're a good idea. Um, the execution. <laughs> It really does look like it's it's just some of them look like they're going up some of them look like they're going yeah. down and then they reverse direction 
in my oh, brain. Why did you tell me that? I just, <laughs> my brain made them go down and down. Go no, um, yes. If you're familiar with Thodio's previous entries into map tournaments, he had some incredibly detailed, highly scripted maps, and that might have hurt him with the uh, ranked maps, unfortunately. Yes. So in some ways, it's probably just his expectations and our expectations maybe trying to match up again and, and not <laughs> not really well, meeting like, up. Lap, like, went in opposite directions again, like, sort of passed <laughs> in the middle. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, that's, uh, that's exactly... Yeah, he did the one with the, um, the portals on the edge of the screen, right? Mm-hmm few contests ago i really like that one you see that that's why i like this map because i'm very i'm a very vanilla player when it comes to a lot of forts because I, I i enjoy the strategies rather than the aesthetics mm -hmm. when i'm actually yeah. playing the game so i see a map like this and i get excited so i'm like oh it's simple sure the background is you know the default background sure the the color is a little bit different nice it, it is a nice refreshing change in aesthetic but what we have here is ostensibly a very simple map. Like, there's nothing crazy. There's nothing wild going on. The forts look mm. perfectly reasonable. They start with a decent amount of starting resources. They've got enough room to expand. Uh, the forts design themselves, which is unique to this map. I've not seen a start. The boat bases have this same shape. But also, they're good. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. They have, like, that perfect level of needing to be modified to sell things off, to be fixed up. But also, they're not... They don't start too well done, oh. too well refined. As we have the opening volleys for the 20 millimeters oh. slamming into Team 2. That's a lot oh. of damage. Oh, my God. Let's see how I Team 2 the replies. Commander change. Yes, well, without doing the 20 millimeter meme, the, they're back to more normal commanders here. Team 1 going with, I assume, Moonshots, or Moonshine. And Team 2 probably going Warthog? Ooh. Expensive. Yes, there it is. Excuse me. Yeah, I like uh, how they've taken this... Uh background which is obviously you know a sort of like tranquil lake or something whatever I was thinking of at the time and added water to it uh, the color of the water I know I've seen the, the screenshot or the the image that Rome shared the color of the mm -hmm. water is a little bit jarring for me mm -hmm. uh, sometimes truth is stranger than fiction <laughs> it's funny because it's true yes the uh it is quite vibrant color. It, I have seen this color water before, so I guess it's not terribly surprising to me. But it, I can see where you get the idea of it. It clashes a little bit with the background. Mm. I think I think the contrast between the ground and the water here is a little bit clashy, although it mm. it does it makes sense, at least in my brain. Like it doesn't seem unreal to me. It's just a little hard on the eyes, as it were. Ooh. 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 Oh, they're Ooh. going for blood. Swing and a miss. Oh. Okay. A couple cannons fired. Team one having lost multiple twenty mils. I gotta say, watching these paveways miss is is upsetting me. <laughs> they're they're surprisingly hard to use. Uh, the yeah. like you would think, oh, it's just a simple matter of of uh, lining it up, but it isn't. Like the release time, there's so much momentum on the projectile, you've got to get accustomed to you making it drop at the right time. Which is... Yeah, I mean, our dome is now no longer yeah. senile. And to make it I even... Think, like, what I was going for oh. is like... Hello. Oh, cool. uh, you know, when when you fire the, uh, the, the uh, thunderbolts, mm -hmm. 
you know, you got like the trajectory and then just to fire a paveway straight afterwards or a night walk straight afterwards, you could just like copy the same point in order to change up so you couldn't just rely on that. But now I feel like it's such a disappointing whiff when someone just fires a, a, a night hawk off the bat and it misses. It just takes a little practice getting used to it. Like it's not like one of the things like you met you you did mention that the Thunderbolt and the the Nighthawk projectiles they don't hit the same spot if you release them at the same time. So you can't use one to aim the other. But yeah, it's it's just it isn't it really isn't that hard to aim them. You just have to practice it a little bit. And yeah. I think what happens is a lot of people don't get that kind of practice because it's so expensive, so rare. You can actually fire the thing. You just don't. It's just like, okay, I haven't used this before. Let's try it. Ah, oh, I didn't land it. Yeah. Which is expected. Yeah. It reminds me, yeah. It reminds me oh, of like how people oh, have hard time. Oh. That was a tasty uh, one. Lining up lasers. Mm hmm. Like, it's, it's as the you easiest thing. Yeah, right. And then they come into something that's like, like you know, dead straight and they have a hard time. Mm hmm. Like, it, it isn't complicated. It is easy. It's intuitive. It's just, if you don't practice it, you're not going to make it. I always try and aim it that it's like the the curve line is slightly before where you would actually want it to be. So that's where it's gonna come. Oh, oh my! Nice. Like here, you see some beautifully devastating shots. Like this shot and the one previous were perfectly well aimed. Yep. <laughs> Slice. Is he connected? Oh, he's connected back up. Good job. That is very difficult to do, especially in the water maps. Um, interesting. Is he actually going to try to save those? Oh my god, he's going to try to save them. I would have just sold them off. Oh, he's firing them. Wait, what? Yeah, then. Oh, no, they did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He needs telling. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's, uh. <laughs> That's the end of that one. <laughs> no mercy from the lasers. <laughs> oh, nice. Ouch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Dude, right <laughs> <over there. laughs> it hit it so hard. It ripped the core out of the base. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, my God. I open moonshine door. A uh, question from chat. Door went boom. Uh, are there any more skirmish maps for the base game coming? They would like to see more maps they can play against the AI. More skirmish maps. Well, we added a bunch, at least for uh, High Seas. Mm -hmm. Was it our last update, I think, with the uh, multi level water? So there's those. And uh, these competitions obviously add to the uh, to the pool. Uh, whoever wins this, uh, we're going to ask them to create uh, AI scripts for them, whichever map ends up winning. Um, so that is plans at the moment. Um, obviously, as ever, we are working on plenty of things behind the scenes. Um, Mm. Yeah, we are. That's as much as I can say right now. But Whee! yeah, like last, last update, we added some uh, high seas uh, skirmish maps, so that was pretty recent. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I've always appreciated. You guys, I, I see you guys are going for the uh, the labor of love award on Steam because you guys, you're just constantly adding more things, constantly adding more updates, and it's it's a joy to see because it's it's always a good time, always a very good time. Yeah, we felt that like it's been five years and we've been, you know, supporting it pretty hard. And uh, I still remember meeting you guys at um, EGX. I was a small fry well. back then. And then you looked at me like, who's this guy? Why is this talk about YouTube for? <laughs> also, if you do you replay, everything normally. disappears. Yeah. Everything um, just disappears in, <laughs> in replay. <laughs> I 
Yeah, there's uh, some, well, I can't really say exactly what, but there's some interesting stuff coming uh, coming up uh, for the community. Too. Flying Forts themed uh, expansion. <laughs> A what now? What? What, what? did you say? <laughs> Hooby dooby the what what? No idea. I didn't quite make about. out what he said there. Watch out. <laughs> it's probably Watch for the, the best. Flang flang. <laughs> I made it into the last one, so. Uh, just for your viewer, you can also search in the workshop and filter with the skirmish tag to find maps that have AI he can play against. Yes, that is a big thing, especially now. The Steam Workshop, with as much as we're doing the map making contest, this isn't the only time when maps are being created. Most of the maps, especially if you come by on, let's say, during my usual live streams where we do these big open lobbies, most of the maps we play are not from the map making contest. They're just maps made by the community and they're very good the reason a lot of these maps are so very good and well refined is because they have spent so much time making maps normally there are a massive amount of maps out there many of them with ai that can be played on skirmish yep yeah, looking now i'm just looking at the workshop now there's there's over eighteen thousand maps in uh, uh workshop and 690 of those are skirmish on so that should keep keep you going Mm hmm So another question from chat. Where do we go to vote for the labor of love? They looked at Steam but couldn't find any place to vote. So why don't you go ahead and take that away? Sadly, it is over. Ah. Uh, I think it lasted for the duration of the uh, autumn sale. Um, so yeah, this time uh, Steam added a announcement, like a special announcement category for, you know, uh, call to action on voting, which is that and it, the game being five years old was basically the inspiration for uh, putting out the call for that. Um, but it is done now, so yeah, sadly, um, you know, we probably could have done with the stream around about that time, turns out. Makes sense to me. All right, then. So we should be getting the votes done in here. Uh, Fraz? Yes. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coming. Do -do -do. And we will have the final judgments. Uh, pretty, you need to pick the your scores are in. pretty close. Yeah. It's interesting. I have well, not surprising, really. I have a nasty habit of rating all of these very highly, and it makes it very difficult to make any form of numerical difference between them for me. So I'm trying to trying to make that different, but it's painful because they're all so good. I want to play on all of them. And you got one last uh, thing to rate there in curses. Did, did I miss something? You you were still highlighted the vault. Yeah, and oh. it's in. So okay, there we go. I believe we have a winner. Yes, we. Do. If it makes your judging any easier, don't forget that the uh, top three uh, places will also be receiving a Steam gift card. Why you gotta do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, it actually looks like we've got a tie for third. So that's going to need to be resolved. Mm. Um, that wouldn't be hard to resolve. That would not be hard to resolve. Let's see. I think, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I don't want to commit to anything right now, but um, in the event, I mean, we ha do have uh, a neutral arbiter in the form of Romero Lagus. At this very minute, he's like, don't make me choose. <laughs> uh, I can I can bite the bullet here, and we don't have to make, we don't have to make, there, Rome I've, I've has done so change. much. Okay. I've, I've made a minor change, okay. and, uh, and I think that that right. solves okay. it. 
Yes, yes, it does. You, you are saved, Rome. Are we allowed to bring <laughs> up the scores? <clears throat> are we allowed to bring it, up the scores for everybody? Uh, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. I think it's. I think we're good. Just a. Uh, yeah, we can we can bring up the scores here. Yeah. All right, and we can get the final tallies for everyone. It's the final countdown. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for as would you be so kind as to suggest the winning map in the uh, in the log? Oh, yes, and. Uh, What? What was? I don't have Flint. How? Oh, he doesn't call it that. He calls it. Uh, oh. What's it called? Uh, that's a good question. What did he call it? Un Wind shadows map. Is Unearth aquifers. Unearth aquifers. Thank you. Unearth aquifers. Oh, there we go. Cool. Let's switch to that and open it up. All right. That's awesome. Yeah, you should do 4v4. Uh, actually, I'm totally down. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, A 4v4 I'm, is a winning map, so obviously we have... I'm on dedicated Shadow. host mode, so I physically can't join, but I do see some other players here. <laughs> <laughs> there are some other people I'm in the lobby. Sure. I'm gonna join yep. Kronk. <clears throat> All right. Um. So yes, congrats, Flynn Shadow. Unearthed aquifers. Or sorry, aquifers. <laughs> aquifers. Clouds took third. I know it was so close. You can't do this to me. I really, I really, really liked clouds. I really liked Clouds a lot. It's just, the maps are so good. The maps are so good. Like, you can't do this to me. Why do you guys have to make such good maps? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was difficult to get all that, you know. And then there's, uh, you know, four of us great, judging. The, the standard has been really good, you know. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, but you know, taken to uh, the multi level like ducks to water. Come on, guys, won't win me. And uh, second it's place was time. Mandalorian, yes. Sa second place was Mandalorian Jedi, and third place was Delta Ray. Okay, very Boy, close. Am I. There I am. Ah. <laughs> Uh, any mini mining more, and then if it blows up, you're doing something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've already messed up my build order. How have you, we've only yeah, just you started? Had a build order? Yeah. That's that, that's Done. a good point. You, you had a good, you had a you had a build order. But a map so new. To be fair, uh, some of the players did actually have a build order. If we saw the. Um, the true setup with the 20 millimeter strats on Mandalorian Jedi's map. Do you have a build order at all? Are you talking to me by any chance, Alex? Hmm. You had a build None order. of us had a build really? order. Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but they, <laughs> they've got yeah. skills. That's the difference. Makes sense to me. You're giving them too much praise. Too much praise. You just build till we collapse. That's fair. That, uh, that right tracks, inside. that tracks. Uh, you guys almost collapsed on Delta Ray's map too. And that was close. <laughs> As we go once more into the number one map here in the map-making competition, the fourth map-making competition. 
You like the clouds map? I know. I really like the clouds map. I really, really like the clouds map. I, I'm also, I may be a little biased toward the theming. I like clouds and sky as a theme. You like clouds? Yes. Uh, front four, no, bad. It was fun gameplay wise. It was. You see, you see, that's the thing. Uh, one of the so uh, gameplay wise, this is one of the things that I noticed on this map and especially on Thanyo's map. Um, the water aesthetically looks good when it is surrounded by terrain, which means that in most boat ports, you will notice that there will be a solid chunk of terrain just in front of the fort. Which dramatically changes the way the game plays. Because what you end up with is ostensibly this in mortal elements of the fort. You can, you know, put things underneath the water where it cannot be damaged. Like, at all. And that, that changes things a lot. That means that people that are trying to target you can't really target your economy. They can't really target really anything you put down there, which can also be your technology or whatever it is you want to put down under the water. And that's um, that changes a lot of the strategies. And this isn't something present in almost any standard vanilla style fort where the forts are above the land sitting on top of foundation. You have to actively defend your economy in your mines or it gets destroyed because you know they can target it directly. And on the clouds map, you can directly target the economy of the boat forts without it looking weird from an aesthetic perspective. And that is one thing, mechanically, I very much so liked about the theme. Like just, just in the aesthetic change, just the theme, the way the background looks, changes the way the map plays and the strategies on it. And that's something I very, very much so liked about it. Is uh, especially on Thanyo's map, I noticed the top bases um, where the waterfall is coming down, it's all solid. And if you're at one of the lower bases trying to fire at the top base, you can barely get line of sight on the core, let alone anything below the core. We have this similar kind of experience here, although it isn't, it isn't something that can't be worked around, you know. It's, We've seen this map played already, and players are able to work around it, but it, it was something to consider. As we have Unearthed Aquifers by Flynn Shadow. Interesting that we still have some... Well, I guess that makes sense for this particular strategy. Um, I was going to say, there is a, f a lot fewer portals now that everyone has their own base and they, they aren't struggling for APM. Portals very well known for their ability to um, defend for a long period of time without being interacted with. Great for when you only have half the, AP uh, half the players as bases. Now that it's one base per player, portals aren't really needed except for this strategy in particular, which just benefits strongly from portals. I don't know who you're actually telling that to. Like, what side you're actually saying that to. That's just, like, the point! I like it. Huh? I like it. Keep it what coming. Not? Oh! <laughs> it in. Well, you were talking about... You were talking Mantra. about good shots with those with those uh, heavy-hitting Nighthawks, and there is a clean, pristine, first-time-fired, direct hit straight to Zaltzverk's core, as Zaltzverk is immediately eliminated. One shot, one explosion. Ooh, devastating. <laughs> Fire beam, plasma beam combo, slicing through all the background bracing and all the Fraz cannons. Fraz cannons. What are you talking about? I'm on team two. Yes. <laughs> 
All right. Oh, Team One Fires. That's a lot of EMP. We're going straight for the economy. I... I gotta ask. What's with the cannon behind the core? <laughs> Why are you like oh. this? I can't I help see myself. Any <laughs> Hello there. Oh, someone got. Emotion. That was a well aimed shot. Does he save it? Ooh, yes. Barely, but yes. <clears throat> I like to live dangerously, GX. <laughs> Eats in charging the fire beam plaza beam combo. With the commander active just to over penetrate everything. And ignite its Oh the crap, sorry. Base on the other side. That was accidental. Eh. That was close. What was close? You saw nothing. I didn't do anything. I didn't break anything. Mm-hmm. But I'm a double tourist. And? That's not going to work. So we're going to miss. Yes, much missing. I ain't change you yet, no. Uh, if you push you there. Yes. Boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo. That, please. Hey, I heard you like stuff. Oh, just I... cooked. What a son of a gun. Incoming! Oh, I can't do that. Oh. Shut down. I still have him with the cannon. Oh, for the love of... Ah! Ooh. <laughs> At some point, Eaton's going to stop trusting you, Fries, and just build defenses behind it. <laughs> uh, well, I, this might be enemy. it. Is Eaton nailed the shot? With the follow-up? Hmm? Oh, ow, 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 ow. okay. That's what happens when I live dangerously. Stuff goes very wrong. Okay. And you know what? I'm just going to do this. I don't know what that is, but that is a thing. We'll put that on that. We'll put that on that. We'll put that on that. There we go. What do I have to press this button? Oh, that's yeah. terrifyingly close. Uh-oh. Uh, is that going to do it? That did it. Oh, death. Blamo, no. Did I kill Blamo? It was that build order. Croncinator <laughs> uh, looks a little bit blocked in here. He didn't double his door. Well, what happened there was he took a lot of damage to his core. Uh, the splash damage from the cannon is what finished it off. I killed Blamo and now I'm dying myself. I forgot to hit R. Uh, who's next? I think the back one needs a little bit of a, a scene too. Incoming! Oh, that's a lot Whee! of uh, cannon oh, fire. Oh, oh no, <laughs> it's too short. Swing and a miss. Oh. Whoa, oh, here comes death. That's oh, a solid hit. Oh. And again. Another one coming. Ooh. Oh, nice. We've got a capsize. Oh boy. Let's see. Oops. Shall we try that one again? Here, catch. Bye bye. Wait, what? That was a clean hit. Oh. Ooh, secondary explosions cooked and detonated. Incoming! I think that's still too high. 
A little bit. J just a bit. Just a bit. Oh, All right. A sweet combo. That would have been beautiful. Whee! Oh, that's so much that's firepower. One, no. oh, yep, nice that's shot. a direct hit. Nice shot. Can, can this one be ready? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nice shot. Come on. Me. Please. Please. But um. Hey, that that has to be like in the right place this time, right? Looks oh. it. <laughs> and the oh, energy no, shield. No, energy yeah, dome coming dead, in. Then. You know when just in doubt, more cannons. Fire. Bye. Never mind. I Ship think we've got moved. the... Uh... Oh, that's a beautiful oh. hit. Oh. Nice shot. That was a beautiful hit. Oh. Oh. Ooh. oh. <laughs> Get domed on. <laughs> <laughs> Fire beams cooking everything off. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, That's the yes. good hit. You see, see right here. Finish it off. That shot would have gone straight to the core, but there was aesthetic what? lip on the edge of the water. My cannon literally just skimmed the core's head. There shot. you go. Sniped <laughs> with a bomber. <laughs> And there it is. Ah, the winning map, everybody. Yeah, that's good fun. Good stuff. There we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Forts Map Making Competition. The fourth Forts Map Making Competition. Big shout out Ooh. to Flynn Shadow taking that first place slot yep. in this competition with Delta Ray and Li and uh Mandalorian, I'm sorry, with Mandalorian Jedi coming in second place and Delta Ray in third. Congratulations to all the uh, entries. They were yes. really good. Really good yeah, entries. They, yeah, they made our job really hard. Seriously, like, I, I hated having to choose between these maps because they're so, so very, I very good. was up to 6am yesterday dealing with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Franz, <Yeah>. why? <laughs> All right, Blame then. my reps awesome. for that one, actually, because I wasn't up until very late, so everything else could push back. Ah, okay. Okay, then. Well, it looks like awesome. this is all finished up over here, so I'm going to say thank you one and all. Big shout-out to Fraz coming in and helping out with this. Big shout-out to Salzwerk on the German cast on this side of things. So I'm going to say have a good night, everyone. Congratulations to the victims. Thank you for having me, everybody. And I'll see you guys later. Have see a good ya. one. See ya.